What's going on guys? Timothy here and today we're going to be talking about music. Not just any music, we're going to be talking about the 1975 Yamaha BK-20AS electronic organ. I'm going to be teaching you how to use it and, you know, the uh, sounds of the organ. You know, it's got very, very beautiful sounds. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the organ. As you can see, this organ has a nice cover on it so that the organ won't get dusty. And also, you can put stuff on it because, um, you know, if you, if you have something but you do not know where to put it for now, you can also put it on this cover and it will be there until you find a place for it. How to open it up is you lift this up and you push back. Okay, hold on to it because it likes to let go. Okay, here's the organ. All beautiful, laid out perfectly, and great. So, the on switch is on the right. Most organs, the electronic organs, have the on switch on the right. Um, I know that the Hammonds usually have them on the left, um, but Yamahas, Cons, um, Wurlitzers, um, you know, this Yamaha has it on the right side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip that on. And as you can see, when you press the keys, nothing plays. That's because none of these are on, okay? You're gonna hit the upper flute split, the main lower voice rotary, and the main upper voice rotary. And then now you can put these down and sound comes out. Let's make it just a little bit louder. And uh, let's, uh, there we go. There we go, beautiful. Yay. Um, so up here you've got all of your sounds. Let's start with the lower. Now the lower, we got an eight foot flute on the bottom. We can put the vibratos on, which makes it like a little wobbly sound, makes it you know nice and vibrato. That's what vibrato means. And sound from the eight foot flute. Then we got a four foot flute. Beautiful. We got an eight foot horn. We got an eight foot cello. And we also got a four foot cello. That's it for the lower. Also we got for percussive, we got a brush, which is good for like tangos, like castanets or tambourine. Okay, now we go up to the upper. Okay, these are what you call in an organ manuals. Okay, so in an organ, you have two manuals. Sometimes you might have a third one. In you know, other organs, you might have four or five or even six. And I don't know if there's seven, but possibly seven or eight. I don't know. Uh, Max is probably usually six. So on the upper, you've got a 16-foot flute, which is a nice, low-sounding flute.
Then you got the eight foot flute. Then you got the four foot flute. Then you got this, this is a weird type of sound. This is a two and two third foot flute. It creates kind of a different sound. So let's say if I was playing G on a four foot flute. Okay, now I play a G with a two and two third foot flute and it creates a different sound. That's a D. So if you do four foot D up here, it's the same note as two and two thirds down here. Very, very strange. Um, one of those, you know, weird half things that organs do to make the organ sound different. You got a 16 foot trombone. You got an eight foot brass. You got an eight foot oboe. You got an eight foot string. You also got a four foot string. And on the pedal, you have a 16 foot bass. You also got a bass guitar. And with the bass, you can have sustain, which creates it a little bit longer. Okay, you also got a cymbal. And you can also put it, plug it into this and this, and even sustain. So, you know, that's the pedal right there. Um, I only use a 16 foot pedal usually, sometimes a sustain because those are the only real sounding ones. Okay, now we're going to move on to some of the effects. We kind of already looked about the sustain. Um, there's other effects besides the sustain and the vibrato. Um, there's this thing, foot switch selector, that's called a glass. So, if we have the bass on, and we got some sounds here, let's just put on the normal, like, organ sound. Let's turn up the vibrato, and there's this pedal right here. This is called the swell pedal, volume pedal. So, when you're playing the organ, you could switch the volume as you go. Um, there's this little knob here that you can press to your foot to the left and it brings it down a half step. Very cool. Also on the foot switch lunches, you got the rhythm stop. And we're going to go over the rhythms. The rhythms are all right here. On this part is all of the rhythms. So let's start with some good rhythms. So we've got a march, which sounds like this.
You also got a waltz. You got some swing, you know, some. You got some slow rock. Some jazz rock. You even got rumba. You got the bossa nova. You also got, last but not least, a samba. So all those are the, uh, they're the um, beats, the percussion. So you can use them as a song as I showed you a little bit in there. You also got this, besides with the, um, you also got, you know, what you can use with these is the auto bass chord. And what that does is if I put this on, it's going to turn in into this. So when I hold the chords down, it does the auto bass with chords. You can do it with any of these. You can do it with the rumba. So yeah, great things can come with these. Um, I don't usually use those a lot because they can sound a little bit cheesy. Over here, you got this thing that's called the percussive, okay? And what that does is, if you have a note up here, on the upper, you can bring it out and make it a little bit, you know, a little... You got a four foot one. You got a two and two thirds one. And you can also bring both in. And you can also change the length of it. talked about the uh, sustain and stuff. Um, we also got the, um, here, the brilliance, which makes it kind of, let's just put in some more types or imitation types. And let's bring it out a little more. Okay, you also got over here a reverb, which let me tell you on these older organs, the reverb doesn't work quite as good as it does on the newer organs. Yeah, it kind of sounds a little like springy. So I don't usually use the sustain. To make the vibrato a little bit more enthusiastic, you turn on this thing called the tremolo. And that is, there's a little like rotary that turns and spins and makes it a little bit more vibrato -y, if that is even a word.
Okay, I think we went over pretty much everything in this organ. Of course, you got the volume up here to change the volume besides just the swell pedal up here. Or, sorry, down here, not up here. Oh my god, I'm I'm a little tired, folks, so uh, just, just stay with me, okay? <laughs> Being myself. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this beautiful adventure with this beautiful organ. It is such a beautiful one. I mean, the woodwork and the sounds. Most things work, some things do not work, like this organ preset ensemble. This does absolutely nothing. Um, you know, bass variations. Oh, I forgot about something. Before we leave, there's these upper presets. I always forget that I have those. Um, you got a combination one here. You don't even need these up. See, so look. You got another combination. Combination number two. I think that's like the eight and four foot with the 16. You got combination number three, which... You also got an accordion. You got a piano. You got a Hawaiian guitar. And you also got a banjo. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me on this adventure on the organ. I'll be posting some more music videos and some like redo music videos because I got a better camera now. I'm actually using my iPhone 13 Pro, which films great. It's filming in 4K right now. That's why you're getting the best sounding and the best looking quality ever. Thanks for joining me on this adventure and I'll see you next time. Bye.